want to sell your business and you receive something called an LOI, letter of intent. Also, you may have received an MOU, memorandum of understanding, or a term sheet. Any number of things with these headings, these are your offers when you're selling a business. The issue with LOIs or MOUs is they are considered non-binding. What non-binding means is that it's not really a binding contract enforceable in court so that if one party decides not to go through with the deal, they can and there's not a whole lot you can do about it besides be upset. A letter of intent generally lays out the provisions of the offer in which someone is going to buy your company. The reason why it is non-binding is that they're also usually subject to a whole bunch of stuff. They're subject to diligence, which means they need to do more research on your practice or your business. They're usually subject to a whole bunch of conditions, things they need to see or things that need to have happen in order for the deal to go through. And they're also subject to actual binding paperwork, which is a lot more formal. The only provisions in an LOI that are binding are confidentiality. They agree that once you provide information, it's confidential and exclusivity that you are agreeing to only deal with each other for a certain period of time while you're putting the work in to see if you want to do business together. If either of those provisions are breached, then you have a breach of contract that someone can actually sue for. But besides that, letters of intent are non-binding. They're just laying out a general understanding of the deal parameters before you move forward and see if you can make a deal together and close your transaction. So it's very important you understand the difference between an LOI and a formal binding purchase agreement, because if you're reliant on an LOI that you're going to close, just remember that it's non-binding and the buyer can always walk away. If you like these videos, please click like and subscribe.